Hey, welcome back once again to Larry's Fountain Pen, and today I'm going to be going over the Lamy Lux. And here it is, with the new Lamy ink to go with it. Barrel, I believe it's called, right here. Beautiful ink. And I picked all these goodies up from the Pen Thing Store. If you're looking for the Pen Thing Store, uh, just Google Pin thing store is that correct? And uh, you'll pull up uh, Brian's. Uh, he has a boutique shop that has all kind of cool writing instruments and inks and papers and uh, pin cases and just all kinds of stuff. The pin thing store. That's where you'll find Brian, and uh, he can hook you up with something pretty cool. So here we go. This is an ink that I've been dying to get into. Plus, this beautiful rose gold. Now, you've seen my previous uh, video on my Lamy, uh, what was it, the uh, Lux... Uh, was that the Palladium? No, not the Palladium. No. The uh, the other one starts with an R. What is that? Ru Ruthenium. Ruthenium, yeah. So here we go. I love these pen cases it comes in. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, and beautiful. Here we go. Look at this rose gold with the Lamy engraved, very pronounced in the barrel, with the rose gold clip. And as you go to the top, as all the Lamy Lux have, this has the rose gold finial top to match. And as you go down, you'll see the same color that will match the other metals as well. Gorgeous. From the top of the female to the bottom of the barrel and anywhere in between. The beautiful one and only Lamy Lux. Let's get this little jewel open. And they come with a black nib. This one is going to be a broad. And let me take this little jewel apart to get this out and this part out, and I'll be right back. So I just had to put the uh, Z28 in there, get that ready to go. Let's get this ink ready to go, and we'll be in business. And that should be enough ink. But there's, this is just part one of this Lamy Rose Gold because there's a part two coming to this that I think will interest each and every one of you out there. It's a uh, something that I've been wanting to do and gave it some serious thought and I did it but that's for another video all of its own so I am not going to go over the the measurements of the pins because I've already did several of these. All Stars, Lux, Safaris. I just wanted to share you with this beautiful rose gold. Look at just look, look at the how the clip and, and look at the body and just look at all the trim work, the finial to the end of the barrel, how that all matches in this beautiful black broad nib. It just it, it just blends together with this translucent grip, triangular grip. It, it just all falls into place. It's, it's just a fine writing instrument. So let's get to writing here. Look at that. And the ink. The ink is going to be a 
really a nice nib. And look at that, just lays down the ink I'm using the Rhodia grid paper. Nice and smooth. And we just do a few little swirls there. Beautiful ink. Reverse writing. Let's see what it does on that. And it will. And you definitely can get a fine line variation from that on your reverse, reverse writing. So there you have it. A beautiful fountain pen. The nib, smooth, wet. Grading flow, no skips. The pen just did extremely well. It needed to do what it needs to do for me, and that's a smooth, wet, comfortable writing experience, and the Lamy LX did that quite well. I am very pleased with it. Thank you for letting me share this beautiful pen with you folks out there, as well as this beautiful ink. Very nice ink. It looks really, really good on paper. Take care, and remember, my friends, on a serious note here, don't text and drive. Talk to you later. Bye.